right, welcome to my 27th attempt at trying to get through this <laughs> review of my GPS. And it's not, this isn't what I would call a general YouTube, hey, this is a review of the Rand McNally TND 730. That's what this GPS is, but I'm not going to go into the, the in-depth review like many other people do. I'm just going to show you how I use this GPS. I will show you some of the uh, stuff that's available um, in here because this is what I how I use to determine how I want my map to look. I learned to use my GPS on this uh, classic style because all the buttons I was able to understand them better even though these other uh, uh, skins uh, have the exact same functions and similar look but they just don't by looking at this flag or map or truck you wouldn't necessarily see that as a button you just see an image where here you see the buttons with images in them anyway so it was easier for me to learn on this classic style and then once I figured everything out I was like oh okay because these the setup is exactly the same on everything it just looks different anyway you can set up your general preferences how you want stuff to route you want to, um, the map to how you can what you're gonna allow as far as routing uh, auto scale I have some people have it set to a certain zoom level I have an auto scale so the farther away I am from something the more map I see that's just my personal preference and then you go into truck tools and you can actually put in your truck information my height isn't 13.6 but I set it at that so because that's the general height of most trucks I have a mid-roof sleeper so I'm shorter my truck is shorter than 13.6 and if there's any special things I would hey um, take into consideration when uh, when I'm being routed so I, ch I tend to set everything up as the maximum most of the stuff I do not use, uh, well, I do use a timer on here for maintenance, but you can track all kinds of stuff if you wanted. But I don't. I only track, uh, there's a calendar, notepad, converter, calculator, none of that stuff I use. There's a, obviously this uh, GPS has a lot of function available on it, but uh, I only use certain parts, which are the map and choosing where I want to go so I'll back out here right now I'm it's set as uh, st. Louis but I'm currently in Kentucky I can press this and it'll return it right to where I'm at uh, uh, GPS wise and I'll back out a little bit and you see how how this map kind of changes appearance as you zoom out I'm way over here but I wanted to show you how this uh, the mapping works so I am going to choose a destination I'm just gonna pick a city center because you can uh, pick a, a specific address but just to be quicker about this let's say oh perfect Roanoke Virginia right now I can just say begin a route but what I often do is because I have some settings set up is and that's how I set the origin for St. Louis is this button right here because I looked up St. Louis and BAM anyway I've got some certain settings on how I want my routes to be done compare routes based on my preferences or show two routes based on toll versus no toll let's just go based on my preferences which is the fastest and the shortest type of settings so I'll you can hopefully this will demonstrate how quickly this calculates a trip from St. Louis Missouri all the way to Roanoke Virginia right now this is operating a little bit slower than it normally does and that could be because I've been doing like a hundred million things on it and I have had this thing tell me hey I need to restart because my memory is getting so corrupt <laughs> so filled with uh, information that it's not working right for me Wow that's a uh, and it seems to come up with a, I know why I did this because this route that it's showing you right now is completely different than how it showed me on my two options when I first came here because this is for the city center of Roanoke and I'm like on the north side so it came up with a slightly different um, way to get here 
I tend to go the shortest. Right now it's no toll and some toll. I didn't hit any toll roads, but uh, I tend to go the shortest mileage. Yes, I get paid by the mile, but you know, it. Uh, we only get paid for, they already tell you how many uh, unloaded and loaded miles that this A load pays. So any additional miles you do uh, does no good because you're gonna get paid that amount whether I do it in less mileage or more mileage. It's just a one set thing. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. So I pick this, yes. And you can see how it's calculating the route. The thing you want to take into consideration is here, how you want your map to view. Right now I have it as north. I usually set it to north up when I'm selecting where I want to go. But when I'm actually traveling, I do 3D view because this map, it, you know, it gives you more of a perspective of the driver look. This is a recent update. These little dots are each time there is a choice to turn. Obviously, and I can zoom in. Every time there's a choice to take a street, and you can move your map around and you can zoom in, because this is how I force this thing to go where I want it to go versus what it's temporarily telling me how to get there because it's not always the most accurate. And I compare it with my, my Rand McNally paper atlas to really figure this thing out. But you can see there's a choice here to go straight or turn right. There's a choice to go straight or turn right. I can, you know, so each button is a, each dot is an option to uh, uh, turn in that back arrow takes me back to the main menu so let's say let's back out here and when I back out enough it switches back to the north-south view and what I do is because this is way too long of a trip the way it's got it set up there's roads that go straight through here that cut off like 30 miles but it doesn't tell you that because it's mainly sticking to the interstate which may be faster, but I'm not looking at speed. I want distance, because I have plenty of time to make like a trip. Uh, the trip that I'm doing, let's see. So this is the hard part, is because sometimes, uh, spend some time. I may have to zoom in here. Let's say, I know that these highways So, night, Mr. 19, it should, uh, let me zoom, zoom in here. All right, it, it came up with some information. I'm gonna add that as a via. I, I, I can, after I add this, I can reorder the trip, you know, as far as what, um, what uh, stop I wanna make in what order, but I'm not worried about that right now. So it recalculates the whole trip, and this part won't change, but the thing I dislike about this is when I re, you know, here I am working on Virginia, and it automatically, when it recalculates, takes you back to your starting point, which would make sense, but I don't want it, me personally, I wouldn't want it to go back to my starting point until I'm done making my my edits it should give me an option to uh, so so see I forced it to that location now I'm gonna have to pick another one halfway in between to force my GPS to go along this road and it'll take several stops but okay I didn't want to make this video like a hundred hours long, but let's go to Mr. 23 here and get in as close as I can. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, but this thing is touchy. And here I am looking through, I'm looking through my camera in order to do this. So oh, almost let's see, I try to make it as quick as possible. So here we go. Bam. See, when I, I know I'm in the right spot when it, oh, it does that a lot too. 
I'm trying to use my finger to move it. There we go. That is via. Okay, I'm not gonna go back to Virginia. It's. I'm gonna show you the the way to look at this now that you've added all these extra stops. So it says seven hours and 37 minutes, but that's to the first via. You click on this, it shows you how you're gonna get there, but you've got this route display options. So I've added all these vias. Summary map view. That's the key right there. Because it tells you your total distance and your total time to do it. And you can see, you know, let me move it off of that button, how now, instead of going way over up here and down 79 and then over, I'm cutting through and shorting, uh, decreasing my mileage. Obviously, based on what I, I just quickly did this and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't necessarily use these roads. It was, this is for demonstration purposes only. Um, when I did this, it came up to like 640 something miles, uh, based on me forcing it to go the route that I wanted it to. It did take it, the time, actually my time to get where I'm at right now was less than 13 hours. So as you can see, you can make this work for you. It just takes time getting used to how you basically have to start from the furthest spot and work your way back when you're making adjustments. Because if I were to start over here, I could do that. But then I have to zoom in and uh, create the via and then reorder it in the order that I want it to go through these stops. And I just work from the back forward this way I don't have to reorder anything it's in order as I go but anyway this uh, video is already way too long this is the Rand McNally TND 730 it's the big 7 inch screen okay press it it goes away and there and but if I want to return to my actual location there I am at this little tiny truck stop outside of Roanoke and uh, no not the TA also why you know it shows you as you drive it'll show you what the speed limit is and what speed you're actually doing which is good because sometimes your your uh, speedometer may not be as accurate uh, as what you think and is uh, may be obvious as you drive through construction zones and the uh, uh, their little laser tag system they got out there to to check your speed <laughs> to let you know hey you're going faster than the speed limit that you can compare I did purchase the Wi-Fi option where I can see live traffic weather blah 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 but the thing is is I have to have access to Wi-Fi so I have to use my my Wi-Fi from my phone in order for that to work on my Garmin I didn't have to do that. It, it just automatically received those signals. Um, so this may be the only year I do that. It, it does, it works great for weather. I, I love it when I'm driving through the snow. It shows me exactly where the big concentrations of snow has fallen. Uh, so I know what to, if I'm heading into bad weather or if I'm actually heading out. So it lets me know, should I keep going? Cause it's going to clear up or Hey, find a parking spot. Cause this isn't going to get any better. Again, this, unit information is in the video description below uh, the video um, there's a link you know to a I think it's an Amazon website that you can look at and see and uh, and uh, this product is going down in price because they have a new edition of the Rand McNally now um, but I like this it's uh, big easy to see and so far I've, uh, I've been pleased with being able to utilize what I need out of it if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Otherwise, uh, Google is your friend. And uh, you'd be amazed at, uh, if you like uh, searched for this on YouTube, which you're watching right now, you'll see even better reviews, I'm sure. But uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Nothing's, nothing's wrong with a thumbs up. Talk to you later.